Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, June 19th. Watch and pray. Sweet promise is given to all who believe. Behold, I come quickly, mine own to receive. Hold fast till I come, the danger is great. Sleep not as do others, be watchful and wait. We'll watch unto prayer with lamps burning bright. He comes to all others, a thief in the night. We know he is near, but know not the day. As spring shows that summer, is not far away hold fast till i come sweet promise of heaven the kingdom restored to you shall be given come enter my joy sit down on my throne Bright crowns are in waiting. Hold fast till I come. Watch and pray. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Matthew chapter 24 verse 36. In consideration of the shortness of time, we as a people should watch and pray, and in no case allow ourselves to be diverted from the solemn work of preparation for the great event before us. Because the time is apparently extended, many have become careless and indifferent in regard to their words and actions. They do not realize their danger and do not see and understand the mercy of our God in lengthening their probation, that they may have time to form characters for the future immortal life. Every moment is of the highest value. Time is granted them not to be employed in studying their own ease and becoming dwellers on the earth, but to be used in the work of overcoming every defect in their own characters and in helping others by example and personal effort to see the beauty of holiness. God has a people upon the earth who in faith and holy hope are tracing down the role of fast-fulfilling prophecy and are seeking to purify their souls by obeying the truth, that they may not be found without the wedding garment when Christ shall appear. Many who have called themselves Adventists have been time-setters. Time after time has been set for Christ to come, but repeated failures have been the result. The definite time of our Lord's coming is declared to be beyond the ken of mortals. Even the angels who minister unto those who shall be heirs of salvation know not the day nor the hour. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Because the times repeatedly set have passed, the world is in a more decided state of unbelief than before in regard to the near advent of Christ. They look upon the failures of the time-setters with disgust, and because men have been so deceived, they turn from the truth substantiated by the word of God, that the end of all things is at hand. Those who so presumptuously preach definite time, in so doing, gratify the adversary of souls, for they are advancing infidelity rather than Christianity. They produce scripture and by false interpretation show a chain of argument, which apparently proves their position, but their failures show that they are false prophets, that they do not rightly interpret the language of inspiration. The word of God is truth and verity, but men have perverted its meaning. 
These errors have brought the truth of God for these last days into disrepute. Adventists are derided by ministers of all denominations, yet God's servants must not hold their peace. The signs foretold in prophecy are fast fulfilling around us. This should arouse every true follower of Christ to zealous action. This passage was taken from Testimonies for the Church, Volume 4, pages 306 and 307. Our Daily Bread, June 19th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.